there's never been a better time to have Sirius XM. With even more exclusive content, with over 150 channels in your vehicle, including the widest, deepest variety of music, ad-free. Root for your team. Get news. Listen to whatever makes you laugh. And hear all about your favorite stars. Your Platinum Plan offer includes more than ever before to enjoy online, on your phone, or at home. Create your own ad-free, personalized stations powered by Pandora. Hear ad-free extra channels filled with music and enjoy a favorite shows with Sirius XM Video. Thousands of hours of shows and performances on demand. What you love is on now. You know, for decades, Alpine Electronics has not only been an innovator, but certainly have come up with game-changing type stuff in every category. And that continues to be the trend. As we head into Knowledge Fest weekend, there's got some big announcements, and I think we might be able to squeeze some news out of our resident expert from Alpine. Eric Brooks will be joining us in studio today. This is CMA Connected, presented by SiriusXM Alpine, and it starts now. Hey, what's going on, everybody? And thanks for tuning in to another CMA Connected presented by SiriusXM. I'm your host, Ben Wu. Alpine. Yes, we all know Alpine. We all love Alpine. But did you know Alpine is literally pushing the envelope nonstop each and every decade? They seem to reinvent themselves. They seem to bring new concepts, new ideas. They've even gone off and done very application-specific stuff like we covered during our Jeep session. Well, today we have Eric Brooks on, and we're going to be talking about Alpine in the car audio segment. And boy, do they have some tricks up their sleeves yet once again. But before that, let's go ahead and invite our guest from Gentech International, who is, of course, the Canadian representation for Alpine in Canada, Nima Jalovan, who's their technical sales and support specialist. What's going on, Nima? Hey, Ben. How are you? I'm, uh, I'm excellent. We're here. We'll be talking about Alpine Electronics. Lots of man, major stuff on the go, nonstop news of what's coming, and uh, I'm pretty excited. Well, how about you? Same here. We're excited with the 2022 product lineup. Um, Alpine has done a great job this year with uh, all the new products uh, that they've uh, talked about that's coming, and uh, the, we're finally seeing products uh, come to our doors and getting a lot of good positive feedback from our dealers. So, yeah, as you mentioned, they are an innovator in um, the 12-volt car audio, um, anywhere from flip-out monitors, halo screens that we've had in the past uh, three years uh, in the market. Now we're going to see more brand new stuff that Eric's going to talk about. So we're really excited this year. And uh, we have good programs of our dealers, and the dealers are fully engaged with Alpine. So we are ready to go. Amazing, amazing. So on that note, you mentioned dealers. You know, Alpine has had such an incredible following, right? Oh, not only from dealers, also, of course, end users. But why do you feel that Alpine continues to be so popular and continues to stay so relevant? Well, you know, uh, when we look at uh, car audio for the past 30 years, We've uh, had um, status systems. Uh, we had F number one status systems in the past. We had uh, flip out screens. Then we had our Halo uh, series products starting from nine inch floating screens. Now we're all the way to 11 inch screens. We've um, had uh, vehicle specific applications such as the Jeep restyles. Like these are products that are always being um, uh, put out in the market uh, for customer demand, uh, demanding products. And at the same time, they keep on improving. Like we are at our fourth or fifth generation Jeep restyle um, head units right now. So they're always improving, getting better. And they have a great program with the OEM side of the business. So uh, when new technology comes out from the OEM side, we can basically layer that into aftermarket and have a seamless uh, connectivity. 
And uh, again, when we look at our new head unit line for 2022, you're going to see a lot of that. I'm going to let Eric uh, go through all the feature sets and uh, all the unique features, but stay tuned. There's going to be a lot of good information shared with um, the network today. All right. Well, let's compare some quick notes before we bring Eric on. Yeah. I'm going to ask you what you're most excited about today. I'm going to tell you what I'm most excited about today i heard and he didn't even confirm this show he's like then i'll see if we will talk about it or not uh, we've got some pretty big announcements there's a new high end like high definition type of system that alpine's been working on i'm hoping they're going to talk about today i'm pretty excited about that How about you? oh uh, for sure and um already there's been some news out in the market and um we are getting uh, positive feedback everyone is looking for that premium car audio system that um, it wasn't available until now. So we have um, a full suite of products that can be customized and tailored to your vehicle. And we're gonna be talking about that uh, yeah. in details, yeah. Awesome, amazing. All right, so without further ado, this man needs no introduction, but we have an introduction for him. His name is Eric Brooks, and he is the official product trainer and national product trainer for Alpine Electronics. And here is his walkout video. Let's go, let's play it. Come on, man. Not every trainer I know has wow. their own walkout video, but this guy does. Eric into this. Um, and, and let's talk about this new Alpine product. Then Jonathan Eric Brooks from Alpine. Hey, Eric. Hey, Nima. Hey, Ben. How are you guys? Doing good. <laughs> Amazing. And. Uh, awesome. Not, a virtual knuckle crunch to have your own walkout video uh I think you again yes. starting another trend i guarantee it um so thank you for making the time to uh to talk to us today eric sure thing sure thing yeah the walkout video is pretty cool our marketing team is always coming out with new things for us to try and to uh, use uh, when we do our uh marketing videos so uh glad that we had that <clears throat> All right, so Eric, let's just cut to the chase. No more small talk. Uh, when we were walking, you know, preparing for this show, you had mentioned me potentially, maybe Ben, maybe we might be able to talk about some new high res, high definition audio type equipment. Is that something we'll be covering today? Yeah, we'll we'll uh, we'll be able to pull back the curtain a little bit and uh, show you some uh, things that are really uh, on the verge of releasing to the market. But uh, you know, it's important for our dealers to kind of have a um, uh, a little bit of inside look, if you will, at what's coming along. So we're going to go ahead and uh, take some time and share some very exciting uh, things with the dealer base today. That's amazing. And for those of you that are attending KFest this weekend, what can they expect to see at the Alpine booth? So at the Alpine booth in KFest in Orlando, you're going to see first off our F number one status Tesla demo car, which is a showstopper. That's killer. Uh, you'll also be among the first to see a full uh, a a vehicle fully outfitted with our status Alpine status mm -hmm. line of product, mm -hmm. which has a lot of trickle down technologies. We're going to talk about that uh, with uh, F number one status. So you'll see two demo vehicles, one for F one and one for Alpine status. Uh, you'll see some of our new head unit products on display. We're going to have our new uh, halo truck enclosures on display uh, and some other sneak peeks at products that will be coming down the road. So there will be a lot of cool things to show and talk about at KFest in Orlando. Well, we feel blessed that we have you today to give uh, our listeners and our viewers, uh, uh, dealers, a little bit of a sneak peek as well virtually. And, uh, you know, let them see what uh, all the buzz is about. So without further ado, um, Eric, we'll leave you the stage here and uh, we'll let you proceed and go ahead with this presentation. When we come back, we're certainly going to have some questions and have a big discussion about it. All right. Well, we'll do our best to uh, to get through the full presentation and the time allowed. Uh, there is a lot of information to talk about. First off, it starts with F number one status. So earlier in the year, we released this uh, product called F number one status. It's a full sound system product, all all in in one uh, SKU, right? One system, one one SKU uh, gives you everything. Uh, this is a ultra high resolution uh, system, 384, 32 bit playback which is the uh, full digital uh, recording spec for, for digital media. So uh, very high resolution. But what's interesting about this product is the engineering and the things that go into F number one status, uh, tooling, um, 
materials used, all of these things help every media sound better, right? So whether it's CD resolution on up, it's going to sound fantastic because of the materials and engineering in F number one status. Well, look, F number one status is a very, very elite, very, very expensive sound system that not everyone can afford. So what Alpine did was we created this, this next step of product called Alpine status, right? So this is a trickle down into uh, what you can get as a consumer that may not have the budget for F number one status. So a lot of things that you find in F number one status with tooling, with materials used for speakers, uh, with for technologies used for speakers, the special surround that was developed for F number one status, you'll find that in our Alpine status line of product. Also time correction and different components used within the products that create a better sound than others out and available. So Alpine status really embodies uh, that F1 racing uh, uh, thought process, right? So uh, like F, F number one racing, you have the ultimate in engineering that's on the track on Sundays to help sell the cars Monday through Saturday, right? Well, it's a, kind of the same thing here. So F number one status, no holds barred, uh, developed the absolute best we could in product. And then, we have that great technology that we're able to use in a more mainstream line called Alpine Status. So uh, this is a full uh, full line of sound system products, and it's available a la carte, where F number one status is um, basically one SKU, gives you everything. This is all purchased individually, and it all starts with a head unit. So this is the HDS 990. It is a high-resolution head unit, has a lot of really cool things, optical outputs, it does high resolution audio, both wirelessly and wired through your mobile device. It has uh, high performance RCA outputs, optical outputs. It has a high resolution four channel amplifier built into this four by 25 high resolution, right? When you see these in person, this picture doesn't do it justice, but when you see these in person, the tooling and the, 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 the manufacturing that goes into this is really superb. So it's very high quality very rich product and it sounds fantastic. It uses a wide range of codecs, audio codecs, uh, so that you can get all these different ways of getting high resolution into your sound system. So this basically manages all of the digital media that you want to listen to, and it does it in a very high resolution uh, capability, right? So from there, we go to our new DSP amplifier that we're going to talk about. This is the HDP D90 high resolution amplifier, very unique for us. So this has a staggered uh, internal amplifier. So this has uh, 12 channels of power. It has eight by 50 and four by 80 watts per channel. So you can fully run an active system in, uh, in the vehicle using the amplifier within this processor. And then it has an incredible audio processor, right? This thing has 30, uh, 32 bands of parametric equalization per channel matrix summing. So it's very flexible with the inputs and the outputs that you use. It has optical input, digital coax input. You can stream Bluetooth directly to it. Uh, it also works in conjunction with that head unit that we talked about. So when you can connect these two together, the controller for the head unit actually allows you to control the DSP, the presets and all those things right from the head unit. So a very cool piece of equipment here. It also has incredible sound quality. It has signal to noise ratio of greater than 110 dB, uh, which is which is just incredible, right? A very quiet piece of machinery. So that's our uh, new digital signal processor that we're very excited to show uh, real soon. Um, we have new speakers coming for the status line of product. Um, people have been asking for a long time for three-way speakers. You're going to see them in status. Uh, these are also high resolution audio playback, so they have a very wide bandwidth of playback. Uh, they have very low distortion uh, and very clear sound. They have what's called a uh, carbon composite cone, so it's a very lightweight, rigid cone. It has a very unique surround called a double gathered surround, which is the same that you'll see in F number one status. So all the same cone materials and the same design as F, F number one status. Um, What's also cool about these is the mid-range, the mid-bass, and the tweeters all use the same uh, cone material. So they have a very like sound signature within each component. Um, and there's actually two different styles of components within the status line. 
We have one system that has a two inch ring radiated tweeter, and then we have another with a slimline tweeter that mounts behind a factory uh, application grill. So, so a lot of flexibility there. And again, all of this trickles down from F number one status. So let me show you real quick the speaker. So in the speakers that come with the two inch ring radiator, you have the uh, six and a half component set, the HDZ 65C. Then you have the three-way system, the HDZ 653. So it's a six and a half inch mid base, uh, three inch mid range, and that two inch ring radiated tweeter. Uh, comes with a full, uh, full, fully flexible passive crossover network with all really high grade components within it. So great sounding system here. And we're really excited for it to hit the market very soon. From there, we go to our OEM fitment product. So we have the HDZ65, which is a six and a half inch coaxial. We have the HDZ65CS. So that's our uh, six and a half component with the OEM uh, fitment tweeter. And then we have the HDZ653S, which also has that OEM fitment tweeter. So the way that I teach my brain to remember this is if you see the S after uh, the model numbers here, you know that is an OEM, that slimline tweeter. That's what the S stands for in my mind. So those are the components. We're really excited for them to come out. Um, but there are a lot of other things that we're talking about here too. So, uh, and again, it just continues to trickle down. So we go F number one status to Alpine status. And then we go into our uh, Indash product, right? So we just released some new Indash product that we're very excited about. And um, so let's cover that now. Uh, we have three models of head unit. Uh, we have the ILX 507, which is a seven inch double den. We have an ILX F509, which is the next generation in Halo floating display, nine inch. Then we have the ILX F511, which is the 11 inch, the new 11 inch uh, floating display. So really excited about these three models coming to market. But what's even better about this as a salesperson and as a technician, they all have the same feature set and they all work the same way. So once you know the models, uh, the feature sets of one model, you know them all. So let's talk a little bit about these feature sets and how they work. Um, so within all of them, you have high resolution audio playback, right? So they'll play 9624 playback which is really exciting. And it ties into our high resolution story with Alpine F number one status and with Alpine status. From there, we go to uh, the new high resolution display. So this is a 720p display. Um, so it's very vivid, very dynamic display. We have wireless CarPlay and Android Auto in these devices now. So that's a, a great cutting edge feature that we've been trying to bring to market for some time. These work with Sirius XM and these will be the first in the market to do uh, Sirius XM 360L, which is a new platform for uh, Sirius XM. These will also do Alexa control and it will allow Tidal to uh, reside right as a source directly on the head unit. So you can stream from Tidal directly into your head unit high resolution. So these are three features that will come down the road in, an, in a future update, but we're really excited about those features. Some other great features about this, they work with IDLink Maestro, so you can have all of that integration with your vehicle through these head units. It has a 13 band parametric EQ per channel, which is incredible, right? So each channel can be EQ'd individually with a, with a really wide range of, of parameters that you can select. Uh, it has HDMI input and output. It's HDCP compatible or compliant. So whatever you're putting into this HDMI, it can send out to other monitors. It has two USB uh, inputs, one for data and one for charging. It also has two camera inputs and our dash camera, our DVR-C320R, which is our upper end dash camera, our advanced dash camera system, can be controlled and viewed through this uh, through these monitors as well. So very great control over those. It's a really cool feature. Um, and then last up is what we're calling the nav stick. So it's an on-road slash off-road navigation USB dongle that'll plug into these head units and allow you to add navigation to virtually any system that's using this head unit. So really excited about the feature sets within these. Um, as far as the way that they work now, very easy to use. All of the sound tuning is done on one page. So there's no jumping through different hoops of menus. It's all right there for you. Easy to use. Um, so that's cool. We still have great features like Media Expander, where you can take uh, compressed media and add information back to it. We have Base Engine SQ for the consumer that wants to do 
a quick equalization preset EQ curves in this. We have that available too. And then all of the functionality, we have this, you know, this uh, selectable crossovers here with full adjustability of attenuation. We have six channel time correction and 13 band parametric EQ per channel. So with all of those features, these units actually have a built-in DSP, right? Because each of those features add up to a DSP and that's what these have. So they sound absolutely fantastic. There's also a lot of technologies on the inside of this that we don't have time to get into today. But let me tell you, these things sound great. They have a lot of world and industry first technologies in them that make them sound better. So we're really excited about that. Um, some other cool things that we're talking about in car audio is our Halo subwoofers, or actually our, our new R series subwoofers, the R2 series. So we have eights, tens, and twelves, uh, all available in dual two and dual four ohm impedances. And with those, we have new Halo enclosures, right? So we have a brand new Halo enclosure for these, the R2 series Halo enclosures. They've been reinforced. They ha now have a one inch thick baffle on the front and they've been, um, they have additional bracing inside for the additional motor structure of these subs. And they really do give us more output and deeper, more th authoritative base than the previous models. So a lot of really cool things going on in subwoofers with the R2 subs and the R2 Halo enclosures. These are also very unique enclosures, as in they can be linked together, right? So you can take a 10. We have a 10-inch model. We have a 12-inch model and both the R and the S. And these can be linked together using a linking bracket that we have. So you can go from a, a single subwoofer system to a dual subwoofer system very, very easily. So a really unique design and a unique take on preloaded enclosures. And they really look premium. They look more like a custom enclosure than they do a pre-made enclosure. So something to pay attention to if you're if you're not currently taking advantage of these products. Um, from there, we, we're going to a very unique product. So we have something called the Halo Truck Enclosures. So these are two enclosures for 8-inch woofers, R-series or S-series, that are ported. And these ride on a, on a rail system. So they're adjustable from 40 inches out to 51 inches in width, right? So they can fit anything from a Jeep Gladiator truck underneath the back seat out to a Chevy or a Ford or a Dodge Ram um, full-size truck, all with this adjustability. And as you adjust it outward, you get room for an amp rack to go within the space of the sub of the sub enclosures. So it's a really unique approach to this, um, to this truck enclosure, but we found that it sounds fantastic, right? So if you can take an eight inch and you can have it in a ported enclosure that is really tuned for the subwoofer, you're going to get great performance. So where a lot of guys will take, you know, these universal enclosures that go under a specific vehicle seat, and then they take just any subwoofer and put in there, you don't get as great a performance as you do from a, from a product that was developed to work and be tuned with the subwoofer within them. So we're really excited about these, not only because they're unique and because they fit a wide range of vehicles with one SKU, but they sound really, really good. So really excited to, to, uh, to have you get those in the market. Uh, here's a couple of illustrations of those. This is a uh, Ram. You can see it ghosted through the seat there. You can see how this uh, installs into the vehicle. Very clean. It has this front bracket that ties the two uh, subwoofer enclosures together and looks really, really good. From there, we go to uh, GMC. So this is in the back seat of a GMC. Underneath the back seat, looks great there. And then I test fitted one in a Jeep Wrangler Gladiator. You can see it here. It's fully compressed under the back seat. Fits great. Sounds awesome, right? So that is our truck subwoofer enclosures in some applications. What makes these so special is this port, right? This is a 32 inch long port and it's tuned to 36 Hertz. There's a lot of engineering that goes into this port to really make it perform like it should, right? So we can get the most out of those eight inch woofers. And again, they work with both S series and R series. So let me show you the product specifically. So this is our S series and we made it as challenging as possible for these model numbers. It's an S DB 8V TRK. So again, two eight inch S series subwoofers in these enclosures that are all on this linking bracket system. Uh, there are two ohm load uh, combined. Uh, they have a power handling of 600 Watts on these S series and it fits a wide range of vehicles. Basically, any full-size truck 
with a relatively flat floor, right? A small transmission hump, these will fit into. The feet are adjustable. The width of the box is adjustable. So it can fit in virtually any of those trucks that have that flat floor in the, black, in the back. So really excited about that. That's the S series. Then we have the R series, the R2 DB8V TRK. So some advantages here, it's an R2 series woofer. So it has a bigger motor structure, more authoritative base. It has a 750 watt power handling. Again, two ohm load when both of these are combined, fits all those same applications as the previous model. So it's really, really cool stuff. And we're so excited about these products hitting the market and they sound fantastic. So what we talked about with the Zamp tray is, is really cool too. So you can see in the middle of the illustration here, uh, there's these, uh, these tabs that are inside the box that are removable. So as the box expands out, you can mount these, these wings, right? And that's where your amp sits. So in the case of the S series uh, subwoofers, you would match our SA60M to those. And what that would do is that, that SA60M would fit right in the middle of that amp rack for those S series. For the R series truck uh, enclosure, we would recommend the RA75M. So that's a 750 watt monoblock. And again, that fits perfectly within that space when that amp rack is installed. So as you expand it out, you have room for those amps. And then keep in mind, if you have it pushed together for like the Gladiator or a Jeep Wrangler in the trunk, then you would want to, uh, you need to remove those amp racks and find another location for the amps. But very flexible, very unique, very great sounding subwoofer enclosures here. So we're really excited about those. So. With that, that's pretty much what I brought to bring today. Uh, I'm really excited to answer any questions that Ben and the guys might have for me on these new products that were coming to market. Uh, a lot of cool stuff, and there's just a lot to go over. So I appreciate the time, and hopefully that answers some questions. So, Eric, I noticed you, you – man, I can't believe you squeezed all that at the time I gave you. That was amazing. First of all, great job on the presentation. Uh, oh, that was awesome. <clears throat> thank you. Thank you so much for that. Uh, Nima, if you don't I'm going to go first because I have a lot of questions. I literally have a lot of with the go whole ahead. status deal. Let's start with the whole status deal. So, yeah, absolutely. Even before we talk specs and what the feature, I want to give props where props are due. You took, and I love the racing example that you gave, Eric. You know, mm -hmm. you race on Sunday to sell products on Monday. And Alpine, the race car is F number one. And, and let's be honest, that yep. will appeal to 0 0.02 yep. of the population of car audio enthusiasts for those that really, really want it, and they'll get the best. Great. But for us regular people, mm -hmm. <laughs> we we might want, you know, the trickle-down effect yes. of some of those technologies that F1 status has created. Yeah. Um, there's stuff in there that has never been seen before. And uh, you're telling me we're going to get yeah. some of that DNA down. So I want to I wanna kind of um, probe you a little bit. Uh, talk to us about the the, the sound, um, how it make you feel when when we hear this type. Because I'm unfortunate, I can't be at that show. So do your best to help yeah. explain this to me. So the only I can't explain to you how it sounds over the internet without just saying it sounds incredible. Mm -hmm. But what I can tell you about this product is when you look at a tweeter, and this thing has it's all diecast aluminum. And you know how a tweeter has this ring that locks it down into place, right? When you look at this tweeter and the tooling that goes into the tweeter and the ring to lock it down, and you can take that ring and you can flick it like that, and it will spin all the way off because the tooling is so precise. That says something to the product, okay? Yes. And every aspect of this product is like that. When you see the controller for the head unit, it's absolutely gorgeous. It doesn't look, it's not some piece of plastic with a knob on it. It's a beautifully cut piece of machinery that when you see it and the richness of it, you know, this thing is going to sound good. You know that the components within it are going to just blow you away. And mm -hmm. that's really what it lends to. And, and, and again, the cone materials, all these things, the, the, I'm telling you right now, when you look at the DSP, and you look at some of the other things coming because status line will expand. Well, that was we a follow-up question. Time. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So it, it, you, this is the first release of product for status. There will be mm -hmm. more. But when you look at these products 
and you look at them next to F number one status, which is an extremely expensive, very limited product. Okay. And you look at these side by side, you're like, oh my gosh, you know, it's, it's incredible the, the, the resemblance of one product to the really? next because really? of the trickle down from one to the other. Mm -hmm. I mean, let's look, you know, uh, status uses the same materials in the speaker as F number one status does the same cone, same material. cone same, material, same, same cone material. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. you know, there are a lot of things that go into F number one status that For can't sure. be achieved otherwise. So the thing about F number one status is it all works together, right? Mm -hmm. The whole system works together. The, the information that you're transmitting in F number one status is so fast. It has to have custom cabling linking the head unit in the right in the because DSP. it has to have it's not even regular cables it yeah, has no 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 it's, yeah exactly I mean, you're talking you're talking 384 mm -hmm. 32 bit this mm -hmm. this is such a big window of information and so much data i mean it's 17 and a half times the data of a cd right there you go so fiber optic you know toss link cables they can't handle that not much good data. enough not so good the, enough. this is custom a to b cabling between the head unit and the processor, because that's the only thing fast enough to transfer that much data. So that's where that ultra high res, that full spec high res comes in, that 384.32. Now, um, the status will do uh, high spec high res, right? Mm -hmm. So it'll do, was it uh, 192.24, which is extremely, you know, high. It's what, eight times the, the resolution of, of CD. So it's still incredible. Um, you know, but it's just, it's that next step is where it's like, okay, you have to go crazy technology okay. to get there. So let me see if I understood this right. So that source unit that you showed, mm -hmm. you, you still need a main source unit in a vehicle. Like, let's say you need a halo, for example, like, so, like help me understand. Yeah. Yeah. That. Yeah. So, so great question. So like F number one status, right? So F number one status is this closed ecosystem, but you can pipe a, a factory or head unit in or an aftermarket head unit in for the creature comforts, your day-to-day -day listening. You know, I want to listen to Spotify. I want to listen to CarPlay or Android, whatever. I, can, I have a source available input-wise on my DSP to get that into the vehicle, right? To get that into the system. Same way in status. So status, you have this uh, ultra high resolution media controller, the head unit. Right. Mm -hmm. That that takes. So if you're if you want the ultimate in listening experience, you would use that source. If I have my everyday creature comforts, I want to use a new halo or whatever for my day to day driving and listening. I would go to that source. Right. So, yes, you can have more than one source available. And that's exactly how you would use it. OK, so said that. Would there be any benefit? to let's say I, I got my brand new halo i'm very happy with i just spent money on my 11 inch all right yeah would there be any benefit to going to the status multi-channel dsp integrated amplifier without the other source unit uh absolutely well number one the the dsp itself is incredible um but the amplifier that's in the dsp is just takes it to another level i mean we're talking we have the capability of running a full you know three-way system, uh, two three-way system, you know, three-way front and rear fully active out of the amplifier that's in this DSP. That's incredible, mm -hmm. you know, uh, with plenty of power to give it. And, and at a signal to noise ratio of greater than 110 dB, you know, I don't know if you, you, you know, some Impressive. people may not understand what signal to noise ratio is, but the higher the number, the better the performance and basically, like signal to noise ratio, ratio. Racing. yeah, yeah, it's like yeah. it's like the signal. No, it, it basically says, okay, my voice is the signal. All the noises around me are the noise. What's the ratio of my voice to all the other signals around me? Right. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that's that's what it's about, and that's huge. That's huge. So, so is there a matching companion monoblock amp to uh, to complete the system at this time? Well, you're getting ahead of me there. So yeah, um, <laughs> right, now, no. right now, okay. no. So right, right now we would use, I would recommend our X series amplifiers, mm -hmm. which are high resolution amplifiers and they have very high signal to noise ratios as well. So right now you would do an X series, a XA 90 M would be as the a mono for the subs. And yeah. what is the output of that DSP? How many channels? 
So it has 10 channels of preamp output and 12 channels of high level output, and it's Very fully good. configurable. Okay. Sorry, I had to dig deep there because that was a big piece that you dropped on one slide, and I felt like you could have oh, gone yeah. like 20 minutes just on that oh, one. You know, trust that one me, piece. man. It's you know, it's so it does so much. I could take an hour. It, it does that, so much that piece, if that is a representation of where Alpine is going as far as engineering design and and you know amp integrating DSP with amplifiers and multi-channel and high res and all these type of key, key things. I'm very excited what's coming in the next 10 years. Yeah. Um, quickly moving over to the, the, the halo uh, truck enclosure, yeah. man, I got, if I was to give an award, that is a super, I've seen a lot of different solutions for truck subs. This one has to be at the top of the list from an innovation standpoint. And I'll tell you why. Number yeah. one, it's adjustable. Yeah. Like, I've seen a lot where you can add pieces to it or you can take away pieces from it, but it doesn't, this is adjustable. Like, why didn't yeah. anybody think of this? This is great. So you can adjust to the width that you need under the wedge, right? So that's number yeah. one. Number two, yeah. the integration of an amp rack mm -hmm. within that space, using space you're already, t again, bonus points for that, whoever designed that. I mean, kudos to whoever yeah. designed that. So here are my questions. Are the feet height adjustable? Or yes. So you can play with the angle of which the rise of the, yes. okay, amazing. So that's number one. The width adjustments, are they like a click, click, click thing? Or are they no. like a sort of here and screw down? No. So there are, um, there's a front plate and then there's a rear, like an, it's, it's almost like an L that, that mm -hmm. go, goes around the box and they're all fully, it's a fully slide sliding rail system. So that you, you tighten put, down once you have yeah, the right you put width. the bolts in. You get it to the width you want, you tighten everything down, and then that cover piece goes on, and you're done. Amazing. Okay. Uh, this um, box or enclosure version only comes loaded, preloaded, correct? Yes. Okay. And you have the choice between the S and the R type uh, woofers. And those are correct. dual 4 ohm, 2 ohm? So in what that they? enclosure, they're going to be dual, dual 2 because you've got 4 ohm and 4 ohm. So yeah, dual 2. Dual 2 is giving you a single. What one single two? A yeah, single so two. Oh, okay. Yeah. There you single go. Two okay. Um, so it comes only loaded. Is do you think there'd be an active version that comes out with that? As far as powered? Yeah, like come I, with an amp, like a party. No, I, I don't think there's any plan for that. No, but okay. really, let's think about just to fill your dealers in on kind of where our thought process was mm -hmm. with these. So when you go into an, a, a, a dealer store. They, you know, many times there's a lot of inventory dollars tied into these vehicle specific preloaded enclosures, right? So you'll go in, they take up a lot of space, you know, they take up a lot of money. Most and, of the time they're custom ordered, by the way. Yeah. Well, you yeah, but, you know, and you got to wait for them, right? A long time. Mm -hmm. So if they're not in stock, you got to wait. And the other thing is, is they're not designed for any specific woofer, no. right? So whatever brand you put into it, you hope it performs well, right? So we've done a couple of things. The uniqueness of this really overcame a couple of challenges. The dealer doesn't have to inventory or wait to order a wide range of different SKUs to make this thing fit in a truck, right? So that's number one. Number two, it's going to perform exceptionally well because of all the engineering that goes into that port that I showed. It, it really does make that 8-inch play bigger than it is. You know, I'm telling you right now, when you hear these things, every person I've played it for, man, that can't be two eights. Really? Right. And when you mm. hear it against a, a preloaded enclosure that's not tuned for the woofer, it's like, man, I'll go with the eights all day long. Um, not only that, let's my final point to give credit where credit is due is the aesthetics. I mean, it looks oh. like a nice piece, you know, it's yeah, something you would it, actually show and not hide away. It's like pretty yeah. nice. Um, especially for an under seat type of situation. Mm -hmm. Um, on that note though, and I think that there, there's some uh credence in what I'm about to say here, you know, you can everybody can sell the the economy, you know, entry level, you know what I'm talking about, MDF, mm -hmm. thin carpet, mm -hmm. cheap binding kind of enclosure, but there's a customer that wants that more custom look. So I yes. think you have a, a halo box with you, right? Can we pull I, that up, please? I do. Yeah, hang on a yeah, second. Because there's some details here I want dealers to know about. Like, uh, this comes off like a custom box. and It's kind of massive. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you're a big guy. So, like, look at that, right? Look at the front fascia of that. It's it's yeah. it's different materials. It's ported. Um, the thing looks sexy. Like, it looks good. 
You know what I mean? It's not just a, a carpeted box. And I think there's great value. That Nima, I'd like to hear what you have to say about this. I think there's great value in these Halo boxes. Oh, there's uh, tons of value in these. Uh, one of my favorite one is that uh, certain vehicles, they have a, a size issue that you can't uh, put dual uh, woofers in the car. But with the Halos, you can drop them single units in the, in the trunk of the vehicle and assemble them with the linking oh, bracket. Oh, I didn't even know. Did you mention that in your presentation? I didn't remember that part. So I actually had a guy, when we first came out with Halos, he calls me up. He goes, hey, I just found a really cool solution with these Halo enclosures. And he did exactly what Nima's talking about. It was a Mustang, right? A newer Mustang. And the guy wanted 212s and he couldn't fit 212. So he did a big, big woofer from another brand. And the guy just, he's like, man, I really want more base. Well, but he didn't want to pay for a custom enclosure, right? So the, our dealer's like, hey, you know what? Let me do this. So he did two 12s, R12s, Halo enclosures, put the one in the trunk, put the other in the trunk, linked it all together in the trunk. The guy, the, the customer yeah. heard it, was blown away. So again, this is a, a product for the dealers that uh, they can um, inventory and be able to use it for multiple applications, uh, bring the cost of uh, goods and their inventory down along with the truck boxes. Yeah. Uh, this is great for that situation where the dealer, the, the customer is like, well, you know, I really wanted two 12s and this and that. You can sell them the economy, you know, dual 12 box everybody has. Or you can sell them one of these and say, when you have a little bit more budget, come back. It is modular. We can grow yeah. that system for you one step at a time with your budget, which is nice. Yeah. And keep them on brand, right? I mean, that's the whole idea of all this. Exactly. Um, my last point, and let's let's talk about these new head units. You know, those three new head units. You know, there's a couple innovations in there. Um, yeah. Here's what I'm going to ask. You know, from a dealer perspective, you know, it seems like every few years, yep, companies come back with, with new models. Is this... Are there real significant changes that dealers need to know about with these three models that are exciting to, to communicate to their customers? Yeah. So, you know, we had a little thing called a pandemic that slowed slowed a bunch of stuff down, but we've actually been working on this platform for some time. Mm -hmm. So this is a lot of this is in-house engineering, in-house design, right? So it's Alpine engineering in this. I talked about some features within this that are, that make it sound better. Number one, it's got uh, the world's first full digital power IC. Only one in the world, right? It's got um, some really cool other technologies that if you pay attention to some of our webinars, you'll see it. But a lot of great things. This is a whole new mechanism here. You can see how slim this is, right? Uh, the way that this all goes together uh, is a little different than previous models. So this is the 11-inch. There's four screws here and here. You unscrew those. You do the height. Right. The nose piece is now wider. Let me get it to where it zooms in on you. The mm -hmm. nose piece is, is now wider. So it's a more sturdy connection to the to the uh, head unit than previous models. And the previous models were great. Right. But um, really a cool uh, fit and finish to this. We have a new halo knob coming. There's a bracket that you can put on either side so that you have a knob um, for your head unit right there. Uh, the bezel of this mm, like a physical potentiometer. You get to see all of my uh, in the reflection yeah. there, but yeah, but look how um, thin and, and slick that is, right? Like, look oh, at that side beautiful. profile. Look at that. Right? It looks it's killer nothing. in the car. It's crazy. It looks killer in the car. So yeah, we're really excited about it, <clears throat> and the thing sounds great, man. The thing sounds incredible. Amazing, amazing. So, uh, can I? Can you put that screen up again one more time? I wanted yeah. to pay attention, pay close attention to the trim. If you don't mind, let's put that full screen one more time here. Up like this. So. Like, look how clean that trim is. And, like, what is the resolution of that screen there? 720p. And, uh, Eric, if I'm not uh, uh, mistaken, this uh, this year's Halo version has a smaller bezel, correct? Compared oh, yeah. to our much, previous much, version. Well, you can't see it really here because the screen's not on. Yeah. You might be able to see how thin the bezel is right Much here. Much thinner than our previous uh, yeah. version. Yeah. So pretty much you're getting almost it's all, all. It's all screen. All, it's screen. all screen. You got it. But it's super fast, very responsive. And what's really cool about this, so again, I talked about how we, we engineered this product for quite some time. So, you know, three features I talked about that are coming down the road is mm -hmm. Alexa capability, Sirius XM 360L capability, and Tidal that will reside on the unit 
as a high resolution source. So these are all for future updates. There are other future updates that are coming. So I said that it has one charging and one data USB. We have a future update coming that will turn them both into data USBs. So basically because of this platform that we've developed, um, this thing is fully updatable, right? So we can consistently look all those features are being unlocked simply from software updates. Yeah. Yep. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So it's, it's really future proofing the product with that. Right. Mm -hmm. So as things come around, we need to change this. We need to change that. It's easy enough to do. And that's really important for the customer spending that kind of money on a premium unit like that. They don't want to know like a year from now that it's obsolete. I think that's one of the, the biggest, <clears throat> you know what I mean? Pet exactly peeves right. that people have spending big money on electronics is like, yeah, you've got the hottest and the best and the greatest for nine months. Right. Right. No, I mean, we see this, this platform is going to be, you know, the, where it's at for, for the foreseeable future. So because it's fully updatable, you know, Amazing. so we're really excited about this platform. All right. So let's just review. We talked about the brand new status line 1.0, the first release of, this new line and, and suite of products of high resolution yep. products. So that's pretty exciting stuff. Uh, we talked about the new truck uh, adjustable, shall I say adjustable? Hey, well, so because halo enclosures are linkable, these are linked mm -hmm. enclosures. We're calling them halo truck enclosures, halo truck enclosures. Again, kudos on the design. I think that's really nice. And of course, shout out to the other Halo enclosures as well, both for mm -hmm. the S and the R series. Yep. And uh, and the three new head units as discussed with uh, lots of cool updates coming down like in the very near future yep. to get even more high-res content into your yep. car. Yep. Amazing. I think we covered it, man. Eric, man, I can't thank you enough for, for bringing the product, bringing the presentation, bringing some news. Good luck this weekend at Knowledge Fest. I'm sure everybody's going to have a, a blast coming to your booth and, and checking out those two demo cards that you talked about. Yeah, I hope to see everyone there. And thank you so much, as always, for having us on, Ben. Always a pleasure. Take care, Eric. Thanks, man. Thanks, Eric. So, Nima. Yeah. Eric, deli Eric delivered, man. He promised wow. and he delivered. Exactly. All the stuff that we've been waiting for in the past couple of years, we now have it. And uh, I just wanted to take this time right now uh, to remind our dealers how we are supporting them you know, with the Alpine products is that we are going that one step above and beyond the um, industry, basically with Alpine um, uh, to support our bricks and mortar businesses with um, any sales in store and install we are now offering up to three-year warranty wow. on all alpine head units so this is above and beyond the manufacturers one year so in canada for our bricks and mortar um, uh, businesses they're getting addition that they can um, upsell additional two-year warranty to their customer at no charge to the customer and that's just basically Letting the, the, uh, uh, letting, uh, the customer know that the product that they're getting, it's going to last them for a very long time with no hassles. Now, just to be clear, so we clarify what you just said there. So the standard warranty on a is head one unit year. is That's one year. Right. You had you get it in is it installed or just purchased from purchased a brick and, and installed, purchased and installed at a brick and mortar location within Canada. That warranty will go from one That's year right. to extended three year. Now, right. what about for the speakers and amps and subs and all that type of stuff? So for the speakers and subwoofers remains at one year. Okay. But we are actually upping the amplifier warranty from one year to two years. Amazing. Double. And again, this is um, at uh, authorized Alpine dealers uh, when once when it's sold and installed. Amazing. So there you have it. Um, well, I guess there's nothing other to say, but I think the last thing I wanted to comment on is <clears throat> th those enclosures. Um, I can see a lot of dealers piling up on those in the showroom and it's, it, you know, the aesthetics of it plus, plus the brand name, um, plus the modulars um, design to them. I think for me is definitely a really nice takeaway, especially that truck enclosure, especially for our, our, our customers so out there that do trucks. Now, Ben, I can tell you with our truck enclosures, the pre-orders that we received so far, the first batch that's coming in, it's all been allocated already. So when it lands, wow, it's going to go uh, to um, to uh, for, uh, to our stores, and we should see more coming in the few weeks after that. So amazing. first uh, shipment to uh, dealers, it'll be in the next week or two. 
Okay. Well, yeah. there you have it. Listen, if you guys are tuned in, you come this far, make sure you get a, a good look at the entire Alpine catalog. For more information on Alpine products, you can visit their website, alpine-usa.com. Um, not 100% sure of all the new stuff that Eric dropped on us today is quite on the website yet, but at a certain point, it will be and everything else. Um, there's a great point of reference if you want to look at specifications. And if you're a Canadian dealer and you want to get in on some Alpine action for yourself, well, open up an account with our friends at Gen Tech International. Nima and his uh, staff is standing by to take your call. I don't know if that's the truth, but I'm sure there's a, a rep that you could, uh, uh, you know, appoint uh, to help any new dealer out. Nima, on that note, I for want sure. to thank you very much for joining us today for this Alpine session. Thank you for having me. Thank you. We'll talk. We'll talk to you soon enough. Take care. Uh, that was Nima Jalovan representing uh, Gentech International, who's, of course, the uh, Canadian distributor for all things Alpine Electronics. Before we let you go, we got to remind you, we've got an awesome contest going on, um, and it's going through right till Wednesday, June 8th. Win an interactive custom display from our friends at 5 Access Innovations. Uh, go to our Facebook page. Check out the post. You're going to like Five Access's page, like our page at CMA Networks, and post your shop name and your location. And one lucky dealer is going to get a custom sound dampening interactive display courtesy of Five Access Innovations. Um, also, I wanted to remind you to continue tuning in to CMA Networks. We are deep into car audio. We call it the car audio sessions straight until June 14th. Check out all the great brands that are presenting on there. Everything you need to know. One brand at a time, one day at a time. And of course, if you missed any of our videos, you can always go to cmanetworks.com where we have them all archived for you. Easy to search either through brand, by category, or even through your favorite trainer. Hit up my man, Eric Brooks from Alpine. He's got a profile on there, as does every other trainer in the industry. And you can see all their videos there. That's it. Thanks for joining us on this CMA Connected presented by SiriusXM. I'm your host, Ben Wu. Until next time, we connect. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. I am. You don't need a car to listen to Sirius XM. You can listen anywhere. You know that, right? What? Kevin Hart's left on the radio. Kevin, you could use your phone. What? What? Alexa, play Kevin Hart's Laugh Out Loud radio on Sirius XM. What? This is how I know you're getting old. I guess that was it. What?